is up, guys? We got your Thursday night football preview here on Pick Five's Playbook presented by Superbook Sports. I'm Lauren Jabara. That's Tank Williams. That's Jared Smith. And we got the Cowboys taking on the Titans this week who have dropped their last five games. This one's going to be interesting because earlier today, the line was at the Cowboys laying about eight points. Now the Cowboys are laying a full 10 points. That total is set at 40 and a half. Uh, Tank, the Cowboys coming off of a massive win against the Eagles last week. Do they get it done again? Because 10 is a lot of points to lay against a Titans team that might be pretty hungry. They need a win this week. Yeah, I'm not sure if they get it in. Um, they could. I'm not sure if Derrick Henry is going to play. I was trying to watch some interviews of him in front of the media, and they were asking him if he was going to play, and his answer was like, well, I would do whatever the coaches want me to do. It didn't sound like he was going to play, but we'll see. No, it didn't. Um, <laughs> but, does not but, sound like, like he's going to play at yeah. all. <laughs> yeah. And the one thing that kind of gives me a little bit of pause is that, you know, the Titans are well coached by Mike Vrabel. They're a wounded dog right now. Like you said, they've won, they've mm -hmm. lost so many games in a row. They have the benefit of playing at home against the Cowboys team that's coming off a big win. Um, but I think the Cowboys should come into this game focused. And it sets up perfectly for them as well. Like the thing I was looking at to, in this game, and the thing that I would like to see from the Cowboys is this. Like we've seen like Kirk Cousins and Justin Jefferson like go on this tear to where like this dude has just been like going crazy like stats are just out of your mind and so it's like man that's just one connection that they're talking about like whenever you pop on the tv and they're talking about the vikings they're talking about that connection i feel like dallas like dak and cd lamb have been heating up over the past couple weeks they need just like one just stupid blow up game to put themselves on a the radar and say like hey all the teams in the nfc this is what you have to deal with in the playoffs, at least as far as like our offense is concerned. Like people already have their radar on Dallas's defense, but we've had like a lot of kind of chatter out there about like is CD Lamb like that number one wide receiver that the Dallas Cowboys can depend on? If he goes out and blows up in this a matchup that's like magically delicious for him against the Tennessee <laughs> pass defense that just gives up like these explosive plays like on a weekly basis, then I think the Cowboys mm -hmm. can set themselves up for success in the playoffs. So that's what I'm looking forward to seeing. I don't think the Tennessee Titans can do their part on trying to get over the total of, well, I guess it's down to 40 and a half right now. So that just shows you. So I don't know if I want to mess with the total. I think the number's too big at the um, – minus 10 for the Cowboys, not knowing if Derrick Henry is going to play. If he doesn't play, then I think that this should be a layup for the Cowboys. So I would just say that. But I don't want to touch the total. Yeah, the Cowboys right behind the Eagles right now in the NFC East. They're sitting at 11-4 and on the season, tied with the San Francisco 49ers. Jared, do they take advantage, or is 10 points a lot to lay for you? It's up to 11 now. Um, wow. Which, again, I think that's probably – we're recording this here on a Wednesday – I'm assuming that's Derrick Henry related, but you know, mm -hmm. we'll see. I, I would agree with Tank's assessment that he's probably not going to play this week for two reasons. First of all, he's banged up. Second of all, it's a short week. Actually, I'll give you a third reason. This game doesn't mean anything to Tennessee. Doesn't matter. Lose or draw. Yeah. They, they have yeah. to win next week to beat the Jags. They could literally lose this game by a hundred points and it just, it does not matter. Yeah. So I, I think there's a lot of motivational factors that really skew in Dallas's favor. But again, in an NFL game for a team to cover two touchdowns, basically, you have to have a lot of things go in your favor. And Dallas is, you know, they've had their moments this year where they've looked a little bit wonky. Tennessee, mm -hmm. and I, I think it's fair to say at this point that the Titans are just a worn down football team. And I'll give you some data to back that up. So right now they have run 120 through three fewer plays than their opponents that is the largest differential in the nfl and translation Easy. their defense is on the field more than any other team in the league compared to their mm -hmm. offense and again in week 16 tank you know this that you're, you're not feeling too really? good based off that yeah. discrepancy so and now you have to turn around on a short week and face a dallas offense on a fast track at jerry's world. just there's not a lot of actually excuse me this game's in in tennessee so it's not a fast track in jerry's world but still that makes you feel even less bullish about the fact that tennessee is an 11 point home underdog which is telling me that on a neutral this game is going to be about 13 or 14 if this game was in dallas it would be almost 17 points on the spread It'd be one of the biggest spreads of the season if Dallas was the home team here. So 
I don't know. I, I, I know we're a gambling show and, you know, all about finding gambling angles, but th there's just not a lot for you here. Either Dallas wins this game convincingly or there's a problem with the Cowboys because there is not one positive thing I can point to with this Tennessee team at the moment. And I can point to some pretty positive things about Dallas since the uh, he returned, since Dak returned in week seven. Cowboys lead the NFL in third down conversion rate. Highest point differential in the league, plus 119. I don't know if that's sustainable. Usually third down is pretty volatile. But again, positive things for Dallas um, since Dak returned to the lineup. And defensively, third highest pressure rate. They blitz at a relatively high rate. Gus Bradley likes to, you know, fire it up mm -hmm. a little bit. But still, they, they get after you defensively. Micah Parsons has had 20 pressures in the last two games. So after that little midseason production dip, he certainly looks to be back into form. There is just nothing positive about this Titans team. The offensive line is banged up. Derrick Henry's hurt. Malik Willis does not look like the guy that Tennessee drafted. And defensively, mm -hmm. they're clearly worn out. So either Dallas wins this game by a lot or the Cowboys have some kind of issues underlying because I don't really have a lot of solid betting angles for you in this one. That is the first game of week 17. We'll get into it a little bit more, obviously, tomorrow on Let's Bet It, but make sure to check out Pixar's Playbook Week 17. We'll see you there. Until then, peace.